it was pretty surreal. So we went through the preseason, and, and I'm just this rookie starting the game, but it was just, you know, packed, and you could find, like, I could finally feel, you know, the Raider Nation and what they were talking about and how loud that crowd gets, and uh, it was electric, really. Uh, I first started playing football when I was in fifth grade. My best friend had just started playing. It was the first year of Junior Grizzlies. So I went down there and watched one of his practices and thought, man, I, you know, I really want to play football too. That'd be a lot of fun. I went home and I told my mom, like, hey mom, like, I, I love this game. Like, I want to, it's my favorite sport. I want to play in the NFL. And she was like, oh, you know, great, honey. That's good, you know. So it was about, I think around my junior year, I had a really good year on varsity and then I started getting some interest from colleges and, and that's when I realized, man, like I, I really do have a shot. So right when I got to um, San Diego State, it was kind of like a little bit of a shock. My first couple years at San Diego State were pretty tough. I, they redshirted me my first year and that was not something I wanted to hear as a player. I wanted to come in and, and play right away and make an impact. That was a tough time, but it was a time that I really had to lean on the Lord and, and um, be built up by His encouragement and what His Word said. So then I, we got a new coaching staff. Brady Hoke uh, was the head coach there, and um, they really believed in me and, and put their trust in me, and I, I went and had three great seasons at San Diego State. Coming on with the Raiders, it's like a, you know, how do I put it, it was, it was tough. You're starting to learn all these things and go to practice and try to put it on the field and all of a sudden you see, oh shoot, my buddy, he just got cut. Oh, my roommate just got cut. Like, you know, this is, this is for real. You know, this is not a lasting thing. The NFL stands for not for long. It was a true testing, but it's been, it was good. And then my, my rookie year, I ended up, you know, unexpectedly really starting the entire season and having a good season. So I always grew up going to church, and the real turning point for me was, well, my best friend growing up was Devin Wiley. He's still my best friend today, and you know, his dad was always having us like memorize Bible verses, and we'd get a piece of candy or you know, something like that, and it was, it was always fun. It was always, always a lot of fun, and I called myself a Christian and, and thought I knew God, but you know, I'd never really made that step to accept Christ as my Savior. And then there was this camp that we would go to, sometimes it was called Hume Lake Christian Camps. It was actually uh, Devin's dad, Doug Wiley, that, that walked me through the prayer to accept Christ. And it's just something that I'll never forget. It was so powerful and I just, I really encountered God. It wasn't like an overnight transformation. I'm going to continue to work at everything with all my heart and, and continue to lean on God at the same time with all my heart. And my father-in-law, something he had told me this before, it was, uh, pray like it depends on God and, and work like it depends on you. Everything that's going on in your life, you don't have to carry all the burdens and all your anxieties on yourself. It's not all dependent on you and I know that firsthand and my wife knows that firsthand and, uh, and so many people in my life who I've seen experience the same thing I have. Christ says that His yoke is easy and His burden is light and He invites you to give him all your cares, your worries, your anxieties, your burdens, everything that's, that's plaguing you, everything that's on your shoulders, so to speak, you can take it off and give it to him. And, and he wants to, he wants to be part of your life. He wants to um, walk in relationship with you. And anything that you're dealing with in this life, you can give to him and you can experience the same kind of freedom and grace and mercy that I've experienced in my life and you can encounter God and that's something I would invite you to check out. My name is Miles Burris and I play for him.